Being sensitive is often perceived as being weak, especially for men. But I enjoy being a highly sensitive man. Of course, this has been a journey. I faced challenges growing up. I felt very different from the other boys in the school. My parents and friends weren't aware that I was sensitive, and sometimes they may make comments that are very harsh. And in general, men are expected to be tough, strong, stoic, and not cry. But now, after living as a highly sensitive person for almost four decades, I can better appreciate my gift as a highly sensitive person. I am neither proud nor ashamed of being a highly sensitive man. It's more like this is what I'm given, and I work with what I'm given. I learn to appreciate it and make the best out of it. I feel that no matter what unique traits you have, if you don't accept what you have, you limit your capacity for happiness. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I love about being a highly sensitive man, and hopefully, you can see your sensitivity as a gift and not a weakness. Years ago, when I first published my book on my experience with depression and slash dark night of the soul, one of the very early reviews I received says that my book is somewhat embarrassing. It's like reading the diary of a teenager, and another friend said that it's dramatic. But I actually felt that that is the strongest time in my life, sharing my experience as a highly sensitive person. I'm not ashamed and embarrassed with the emotional intensity that I felt at that time, because that is what I truly felt at that moment. And being vulnerable and open feels so much better than hiding my sensitivity to myself and being ashamed of my own uniqueness. And I feel so much more free and at ease being myself. Than pretending to be tough or stoic. If I were to choose between emotional sensitivity and emotional numbness, I would definitely choose emotional sensitivity. I would rather deal with intense emotion than not feel emotions at all. Emotional numbness is a problem for men in the current society. When you numb or suppress your emotion, you have a very narrow emotional range. Many men I talk with are stuck with emotions like fear. Shame, anger. They don't get to feel other wonderful emotions and feelings like passion, the eagerness for life, freedom, joy, love, and bliss. When you suppress your own emotion and don't allow yourself to feel your negative emotion, you also don't get to feel the positive emotion. It's like you receive a color pencil set, but there's only three colors: like fear, shame, and anger. Someone who is highly sensitive. Has hundred over different shades and variation of colors. Life is so much more colorful when you're in touch with a wide spectrum of emotions. Emotion also provide valuable information, and when you don't have access to your own emotions, you're missing a whole lot. You don't know what your heart desires, like what kind of work you truly enjoy doing, or when you are in a relationship with someone, you don't feel emotionally connected with them. This lack of emotional intimacy may cause problem in your relationship in the long run. Your partner may be angry with you, and you don't know what's wrong. Even though as a highly sensitive man, I'm different from the typical man, but I don't judge them for not being able to feel their own emotion. I actually have a lot of empathy towards them. They have their own set of challenges and problems to deal with, and I have mine. As a highly sensitive person and an empath. I'm great at understanding other people's emotion. When it comes to relationship, I do have an advantage. However, I also have to deal with the intense emotion that other people brings. An important thing that I want to say is that being sensitive is not the same as being fragile or weak. Being sensitive actually allows me to have more opportunity to practice dealing with emotion and be more emotionally resilient. In the beginning, when I was young, of course, I have a much more difficult time. I was overly attached to my emotion, and I don't know how to deal with them. But with so many years of practice dealing with sadness, shame, disappointment, resentment, anger, and all the different emotions, I can now say that I'm not afraid of my emotions. I'm also not afraid of other people's emotions. I can deal with their emotion and even help to uplift them. If I choose to do so, like when my dad passed away last year, 
I was able to help each of my family member individually to deal with grief and guilt. I don't see it as a work or my responsibility. I see it as a gift. I was able to be there for my family members when they needed support and comfort. Emotional sensitivity is a gift I receive when people allow me to share my gift with them. It's an honor. It's a very beautiful thing to see, to witness when people move and transform their emotions from that of grief to that of peace. Every one of us will face a challenging time in our life and I wish that everyone has a highly sensitive person or an empath with them to help them through these challenging times. As a highly sensitive person, I also get to enjoy and appreciate life, music and film so much deeper. People who don't share this kind of sensitivity that we have may need a lot more stimulation just to feel something. When I was living in Malaysia with my housemate, they have to crank out the volume of the movie or music they are watching or listening. It's more difficult for them to feel the sensation, the excitement and just to feel alive. When I feel down, I can just go to my neighborhood park for an hour and I will just feel so blissful so easily. I could listen to some emotional music and feel deeply moved and connected by the music. And then I could easily move emotion out of my system. Even though highly sensitive person may be easily affected by negative events, we can also bounce back very quickly if we just tap into the things with good energy. You can process an emotion so much faster and have less blockages in your system when you have the awareness and the intention. When you know how to deal with your own unique HSP traits, every day is like a reset and a new day. You don't let your emotion build up into such a huge momentum until it's too challenging for you to handle. You recharge and refresh yourself frequently. I don't see this upkeep as a chore or a disadvantage. I see this as part of self-care and loving myself. Of course, being a highly sensitive person has its inconveniences. Overstimulation can be very stressful. Highly sensitive person is not just sensitive to emotions. We may also be sensitive to bright lights or loud noises. Perhaps one of the most difficult times of my life is when I have to go to the army. It's compulsory in Singapore. Military life is not made for a highly sensitive person. Shooting with a rifle, being in a war stimulation, violence, all of these are very overwhelming for a highly sensitive person. I remember when I was working in Malaysia and I told my male colleagues about how I was in the army. They would be like, wow, it's so cool. But I'm like, at the back of my mind, I was like, it's not fun at all. <laughs> Drilling sounds, crying baby, loud noises can be very stressful for highly sensitive people. I get very angsty and distressed if I had to stay in such an environment for a long time. Some of my old friends don't understand why I don't go clubbing. And even concerts, the booming loudspeaker doesn't feel comfortable for my nerves and for my heart. And I don't like to go crowded places too because I'll be opening myself up to more unpredictable stimulation. But as a highly sensitive person, that just means that I need to be more selective with the environment that I put myself in. I will not put myself in a job that is highly stimulating or too fast paced. I will put myself in jobs that allows me to process information deeply and to work quietly alone. Recently, I have been going to the library once a week as part of my self-care routine. I felt that library is a place created by empath or highly sensitive people because it feels so peaceful there. Since I was seven and my teacher brought us to the library, it is one of my favorite places to be in. I just have some kind of affinity to libraries. And sometimes, when, even when I travel to other countries, I will go to their library. Being there helped me to recharge my energy and achieve a kind of emotional balance and stability. I always feel so much calmer after going to the library. As a highly sensitive person, you will have to learn how to calm your nerves, whether it is by changing your physical environment or implementing self-care routines. 
It's like how you send your car to repair and maintenance regularly. You want to do this regularly for yourself, like you're appreciating your car. When you do that, you'll find that your sensitivity is not a weakness, but a gift. If you enjoyed this video, do subscribe for more videos on empath and highly sensitive people. And do check out this playlist for more videos like this.